Have you ever wondered how the nation of Qatar came to be? Our journey begins thousands of years ago with the first evidence of human habitation dating back to the Stone Age. Picture a time when nomadic tribes roamed the land, hunting, gathering, and making their first forays into settled life. As we move forward to the Bronze Age and the Iron Age, Qatar's landscape became dotted with various tribes, each contributing to the rich tapestry of the region's history. The arrival of Islam in the 7th century brought a new chapter to Qatar's story leading to the rule of various Islamic dynasties that shaped the region's cultural and social fabric. Fast forward to the 18th century and we encounter the Al Thani family. Their rise to power marked a significant turning point in Qatar's history, ultimately leading to their position as the ruling family of Qatar, a status they still hold today. Thus, by the 18th century, the Al Thani family emerged as the rulers of Qatar, a position they hold to this day. What if I told you that a single family has ruled Qatar for over two centuries? Yes, you heard it right. The Al Thani family has been at the helm since the mid 18th century. The family's rise to power was closely intertwined with the establishment of Doha as the capital of Qatar. Sheikh Mohammed bin Thani, the founding father of modern Qatar, made Doha the seat of government, transforming it from a simple fishing village into a thriving city. Now, let's talk about the British. In the 19th century, the British Empire was eager to secure their trade routes to India and fend off any potential threats. They found an ally in the Al Thani family. In 1868, Sheikh Mohammed signed a treaty with the British, marking the beginning of a significant chapter in Qatar's history. The British influence grew stronger over the years, and in 1916, amid the tumult of the First World War, Qatar became a British protectorate. This status meant that while Qatar retained internal autonomy, its foreign affairs were under British control. In exchange, the British promised to protect Qatar from any external threats. However, the real game-changer came in the 1940s with the discovery of oil. This discovery sparked an economic boom that transformed Qatar into one of the wealthiest countries in the world. The oil revenue allowed the Al Thani family to solidify their rule, develop infrastructure, and invest in the welfare of their people. But as the decades passed, the desire for sovereignty grew stronger. The Al Thani family, realizing the potential of their oil-rich nation, sought to chart their own course. Finally, in 1971, Qatar gained independence from the British, marking the beginning of a new era. The Al Thani family continued to rule, but now they were the masters of their own destiny. In 1971, Qatar gained independence from the British, marking the beginning of a new era. How did a small nation become one of the wealthiest countries in the world? Let's rewind to the year 1971. It was in September of this year that Qatar declared its independence from the British protectorate, marking the beginning of a new era. With independence came the opportunity to tap into the vast reserves of oil and natural gas that lay beneath the Qatari sands, and tap into them, they did. This black gold fueled a rapid economic transformation, catapulting Qatar from a modest pearl fishing economy to a global powerhouse, practically overnight. But it wasn't just about the oil and gas the leaders of Qatar were visionaries. They recognized that for the nation to truly thrive, it needed to invest in its people and infrastructure. And so, they embarked on an ambitious journey of modernization. This journey saw the development of state-of-the-art infrastructure, with sleek highways slicing through the desert and futuristic skyscrapers piercing the Doha skyline. It saw the establishment of world-class educational institutions ensuring that every Qatari child had access to quality education. It witnessed a healthcare revolution with the creation of advanced medical facilities that put Qatar on the map for medical tourism. This journey wasn't just about physical progress, but cultural evolution too. Qatar embraced its Islamic traditions while fostering a vibrant art scene, creating a unique blend of the old and the new. It sought to preserve its rich cultural heritage even as it opened its doors to the world, and the world took notice. Qatar's increasing global prominence was solidified when it was chosen to host the 2022 FIFA World Cup, a first for the Middle East. This was a moment of pride not just for Qatar, but for the entire region. Today, Qatar stands as a testament to rapid progress and ambitious vision, a small nation with a big impact. 
From the dunes of the Arabian desert it has risen as a beacon of prosperity and modernity, proving that with the right vision and relentless determination, even the seemingly impossible can be achieved. What makes Qatari culture unique and vibrant, you may ask? Well, it's a rich tapestry woven from a myriad of influences, each contributing to the vibrant cultural mosaic that is Qatar today. At the heart of this tapestry are Qatar's Bedouin roots. The nomadic Bedouin tribes were the original inhabitants of the Qatari Peninsula, their traditions and values shaping much of the nation's identity. Even today, the values of generosity, hospitality, and strong community bonds so integral to Bedouin culture are deeply ingrained in Qatari society. Next, we have the profound influence of Islamic traditions. As a predominantly Muslim nation, Qatar's cultural, social, and architectural landscapes are deeply imbued with the principles and aesthetics of Islam. The rhythm of daily life here is often set by the call to prayer, while the holy month of Ramadan and the celebration of Eid are significant cultural events. Let's not forget the vibrant arts scene. From the lyrical verses of traditional Nabadi poetry to the soulful strains of Khaliji music, artistic expression is highly valued in Qatari society. In recent years, Qatar has also emerged as a hub for visual arts, hosting international exhibitions and nurturing homegrown talents. And then there's Qatari cuisine, a delightful fusion of Arabian, Persian and Indian influences. From the hearty majboos, a spiced rice dish with meat, to the sweet, saffron-infused delicacy that is Lukaimat, Qatari food is a testament to the country's rich cultural intermingling. Finally, we have the traditional Qatari dress. The men's thobe, a long white garment, and the women's abaya, a black cloak, are both elegant and practical, designed for the country's hot climate. They are symbols of national pride and identity, worn with grace and dignity. From ancient customs to modern arts, Qatari culture is a fascinating blend of tradition and innovation. It is a culture that respects its past, celebrates its present, and looks forward to its future with anticipation and ambition. What can we learn from Qatar's journey? From the sands of time, Qatar has written a tale of triumph and transformation. Born from the heart of the Arabian Peninsula, it flourished under the rule of the Al Thani family, solidifying its identity and sovereignty. From the era of pearl diving to its rise as a global powerhouse of natural gas, Qatar's economic boom is a testament to its resilience and vision. The nation's modernization didn't come at the cost of its cultural heritage. Qatar has meticulously preserved its Bedouin roots, Islamic traditions, and vibrant art scene, weaving them into the fabric of its contemporary identity. As we gaze into the future, Qatar continues to rise, carving out its role on the global stage with unwavering ambition and poise. From its humble beginnings to its current status as a global powerhouse, Qatar's journey is a story of resilience, vision, and enduring cultural pride.